Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Aberration. Done a little bit of resource farming. Just coming back now on the Ravager. Had to get some more crystal. I got some metal stocked up in the forges. We're going to be expanding a little bit on the base today. I need to get an industrial smelter belt and a chem bench. Chem bench so that we can get things like gunpowder and some mini paste a little bit faster. And then the forge because we're going to be needing metal. I'm looking at possibly building a different base. Kind of further in the blue zone, down that way. Almost where it goes down to the red zone. Bunch of junk. But anyways, I want to do that before we end up teaming our Reaper. Because we're going to have to build a little chamber separate from the base for the whole process of the Reaper. It's a weird mechanic. And yeah, so <laughs> I figure we'll get rid of the platforms. Well, not get rid of them. They'll still be here. But we'll end up building another base, and I'm thinking about actually doing it out of metal. I have actually never built a metal base in Ark. Didn't really like the look, but this is the map to do it on, since there's so much metal around. But let's get up here, take a look and see what we need. First thing we need to do is get the chemistry bench built. Because we do need a lot of cementing paste to get this guy out of the way. Oh, dude almost fell. Now think about for right now, we'll put them up top everything. I'll probably get rid of that little uh, plant that I have up there. I don't really use it. It was kind of just for experimenting purposes. <gasps> Dude, don't fall off. Oh, come on. Well, I'm having a hard time today. Oh, and I jumped right off. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days. I can see it now. But this is the frog that I got when I had to go down and get the other artifacts for doing Rockwell. So it's not too bad. Pretty good stats on him. I like the color, man. He's albino. But let me go ahead and get around here, get back up to base, and then we'll start getting that stuff kind of worked out some. I need to do a little bit of renovating up top. I need to add in a couple more ceilings to make our electricity a little bit easier to get to. And then I'm thinking about moving the turrets a little bit closer. Don't seem to have as many rock tricks coming around. And dude, I tell you what, that thing goes through batteries so quick it's taking me forever. It's like every time I get ready to do something, I have to go run over and charge them. All right, see if we can get this guy set up over here without him jumping off again. Oh, he can't walk in reverse. I forgot. That's all right. Stay there, buddy. So I am using our little glow pet. Seems how we lost our good bulb dog. Tell you what, man. Gone through so many light pets on this map so far. We need to go down and get some polymer, I think, from one of the crabs. And speaking of crabs, oh, yeah. Well, look at this, too. I got this from a drop that was down there. So we actually have a decent pick right now. But we're going to be taming a crab. I don't know if it's going to be in the next video or the one after. That's another reason why I wanted to get the chemistry bench set up. Because we're going to need to make all that gunpowder and everything else. And it'll help out a ton. So we need some mini paste. I think I have enough made up in here. I've been working on it before I started recording. We got plenty of that. Check to see what we got in here. Yeah, we should have enough. I think. I think it was only 250. We need to make some more for the industrial smelter or the industrial forge, but everything else I should have. Yep, let's run up. And we'll probably go on the Megalosaurus. Smack some crabs around a little bit up on the river up there. Actually, I don't know. We might have enough here. Put the saddle over on him. We're going to need to get some anyways whenever we make the industrial forge. I have just enough, I think, for the chem bench. Oh, am I out of slots? Holy crap. Um, Let's get rid of some of this junk that we don't need. And then I need to make a little hut down there for getting silica pearls to make electronics because, dude, the time it takes to farm down there, the best thing to do is I get an angler fish. And there's a bunch in that little, I don't know if you'll call it a lake that's down there. So we can ride one of those around, at least have some protection. Nice. One Kim bench, please. 
So we got to use gas in that and electricity. So I'm hoping I got some more gas in here. I might need to make some. Yeah, let's throw a little bit into the forge while that's cooking. And I think some hide. We'll do one in each. Cool, so that's there. What do we need for the forge? 400 oil. So many paste we'll make. And then the polymer will take, like I said, the Megalosaurus up. So let's grab the oil so we have all that. Might have to run up top to do a, another run soon, too. Cool, let's hop on a Megalosaurus. Take him for a little walk. It's been a while. Kind of sucks that we lost everything with Rockwell. So I was reading online a little bit about it because, like I said, that was the first time I've ever done Rockwell. And apparently, when it ends, you have to take everything back to the place where it spawns in, the little pad that you come in on. And if they're sitting on there, they'll respawn in down... Oh, what level are you? Level 8. Good luck, buddy. Pretty low level. But... If you put everybody on that little pad that's down there, they'll actually spawn back in the radiation zone where you go in. So that's why I was thinking they were supposed to be down there, but I don't know. Weird mechanic, man. That's, uh, that's a huge loss on all your teams and everything. And your gear. I lost almost all of my gear except for my feet. Dude, it's like these spinos just keep on spawning in here. And I don't have a, a spyglass anymore. I lost mine. Get a little bit of water while we're here. Alright, dude, you guys come this way. It's like there's always two spinos and two crabs. This is probably where we'll come to tame the crab at. And I'm actually going to keep all that chitin, all 6,000. We'll use that for making some mini paste. We might as well go ahead and check our gas balls while we're here, too. Hopefully we got a couple more because I'm going to have to make another radiation suit or two. Oh man, 48. That is not enough. Dude, I really need to set up another one. Did we set up another one? Or was I thinking about it? There's another gas vein right up that way. Can't remember if we set one up or not. If we didn't, we need to. Oh, another shine horn. 76. You're good enough. Let's get some mushrooms for you, buddy. Come here, little dude. Quit following the Iguanodon. One more, he'll be tamed. Let's get a... Uh, do I have one? Yeah. Cool, man. I mean, we'll still use the glow pet for now. Or the glow tail. He looks pretty cool. How he kind of just rides on your back as well. But I don't know, man. <laughs> I love me a shine horn. Oh, nice. Hold on, don't go anywhere. What's your stats look like? Actually, you're stuck in a rock. Come this way, dude. So, 322 on the health, 615 on the charge capacity, regen is 556, and emission range is 317. Not too bad on a charge capacity and charge regen for being such a low level. You will be going into the growl pod for now. I'll probably throw them out inside base for a light. It is kind of dark in there. Nice, man. Makes it a good start to the day. All right, we're going to head back, throw that chemistry bench out, and I jumped way too far down. Throw that chemistry bench out, and then try to get the stuff made up real quick for the industrial forge i didn't even look we should have enough polymer yeah that should be plenty that should be 400 looks like some of the crystals have respawned too oh dude hey what you just like jumping off of things today don't you all right let's empty some of his inventory out
I was about to say, why do I have meat there? But I forgot it was for him. I will leave the gas balls in you for now, too. Let's take some more. About the polymer. We'll just throw it all in there. We're probably going to use all of it. Hopefully, I have enough slots available. I don't think so. Oh, we do. Nice. Just need to get some, some, some mini paste ready. So let's throw this back into him for a few minutes. We should have some gas ready. And do we want to put this up top or down below? Let's put this one down below. And we'll put the forge up top. You are going to go into crowd pod. We don't really need you. Holy crap, you got a bunch of levels. Let's do this. You've done good, buddy. We just not much use for farming on this map. Oh, man. Can't get them through there. Having some issues crowd potting him. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Let's throw him into here. I don't want to keep him on me. Keep an extra, a couple extra just in case. Might as well get some food while we're here. Dude is always hungry, man. I'm tell you what. All right, chemistry bench. That will fit lovely. Shouldn't see much of the wire, too. Yeah, because it's from right there. Alright, so let's grab some stone. I did do a lot of farming, like I said. And we'll get this thing cooking. Oh, it's unpowered. I forgot the generator's off. Let's turn that back on real quick. I need to put... Tell you what, while we're doing it, or while we're talking about it, Take some ceilings with us. Kind of fix this up a little bit. It's kind of hard to get to it to turn it on. I always fall off. And dude, I get stuck down there. And man, it's like you got to break a wall to get out. Horrible design, whoever built this. I'm just saying. Don't want to name any names. I don't know why I didn't do this in the beginning. Looks a lot better anyways. Probably put a railing right there, though. Nice. Let's turn it on. Should be good to go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will leave that since I have a little bit more room up here. We'll take this guy and move him down. That's where the forge is going to go up there. Did my light bed just turn off? It did. He must be out of charge. Oh, man, I need to get some meat to put in there. I forgot. It's, like, totally empty. It's from raising all those megalosauruses up, man. They eat so much meat. Now, we should make a grill today, too, if I have enough metal. I'm really going to be close on metal. But that'll let us cook all the meat for the teams, and won't have to worry about it spoiling so fast. Yeah, you guys are probably hungry over here, too. Sorry, man. I forgot. It's been a busy day. He's earthquakes, dude. Are we good? We are. Grab a little bit more stone. We'll grab all of the chitin out of the Megalosaurus. If we can please move. Dude, I can't believe that's 6,000 chitin. That's going to make a lot of some mini paste. I have to look too. I don't know if the metal building requirements are use that. 
It does. Metal and cementing paste. So we're going to need a lot of it. Oh, dude. Wait, is it not on? There we go. We need more more stone. Dude, we're going to need so much stone. I think it was it a basilisk we can take out that has a reduced weight on stone. Seems like I don't have a dodic right now. Get a couple more of these going. I think it makes a couple per click. Is it 12, I think? No, it's not. It's like six. Cool, so we'll let that run. What else did we need over here for the forge? Just some mini paste. And what about the industrial cooker? Oh, we should be able to do that too. I need to get a little bit more crystal and some oil and then a little bit more metal. Actually, I'm at a crystal. That's all the crystal that I have. While that's going, let's go ahead and get a bunch of our gunpowder making. We're going to be doing the cannon again for the crab that we're going to tame. And that uses a ton of resources. That should make 325. That's not too bad. That's a good bit of gunpowder. And then there's all of our submitting paste. Two, four, five. Oh, we need to make a little bit more. I need to get some more stone out of there. We're going to be just shy, I think. Oh, we full? Yep, just barely. I know I need to put the polymer back in there. I'm just trying to... <laughs> I'm out of slots, man. Trying to trying to get it all worked out. Alright, that should be good on there. Let's go ahead and just stop everything. We'll make those first. And then what, what can we get rid of out of here? Don't need the gas balls right now, or that. I need to build something to hold those. The blueprints, a bookcase. I think that's about it. Everything else kind of needs to be in there. Let's get a bookcase while that's going. one bookcase, please, and thank you. That'll fit by the fridge. It will. So I have a couple in here. Oh, yeah, I looted this, too. Whenever I got, uh, before I got the pick. I mean, we don't need it now, but that's pretty good durability on those. Won't have to worry about stuff breaking so much. All right, one industrial forge coming up. Oh, we can do the grill too. Nice. I was wondering if we had everything for sure. And we'll need a little bit more gas for those. So let's just rob some from here. We'll take that one and split it. So I think for the grill, we'll do right here. Zoom out a little bit so we can see. And then we'll throw the forge right here. And that'll be easy access, too, for me. 
Awesome. I'm going to throw everything in the Ravager and get it all moved up here. And then we'll uh, take a look and see where we're at. It's going to take me a few minutes, so <laughs> we'll see you back in a few. This should be the last of it. Had to take a couple trips to get up here, even with the 3200 weight capacity on this guy. Still wouldn't all fit. I need to get a bunch of wood to throw in here too and get that smelting down. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Nice, nice. We'll grab the meat out of the bins. Get these guys some cooked meat, make it last a little bit longer. Cause I don't need quite as much on the spoiled meat anymore. Seems how I don't need to do that much taming again using it. And we got the shocking trank darts too, which help out a ton. I need to get some more artifacts to put there, man. It was nice having them and having it all lit up. Maybe I'll do that off camera, run down and grab them if I have time. Just to, <laughs> just to have something up here. Looks kind of bare without it. Still going to leave this here, though. It works good as it is. Well, we've got everything kind of set up. I really needed this so that I can smelt down enough of the metal. And hopefully, I don't know if we'll do it in the next video or the one after. But we'll, uh, we'll look at moving base. We need to scout out an area that I want to put it. I want to do it deep down in the bioluminescent zone. Kind of over where we go down to get the artifact in that lake. Down near that way. I think it'll be good. Be a good change. However, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.